Dear friend, my name is Denise Renner, and today I have the privilege of reading for you my teaching letter for January. First of all, I want to thank you all for your kind comments and responses to my letters and for your prayer request that I received from many of you. It's such an honor to hear from you and to pray for you. This new year is upon us, and I can't help but think about how important our decisions are right now and what kind of mindset we need to have for 2022. I'm asking myself this question, and now I'm asking you, what banner can I hold over my life for this new year? My first thoughts went to what am I confident in? What is going to hold me steady in place today and tomorrow? I want to share with you a promise in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, which says, Being confident in this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will finish it, until the day of Jesus Christ. When things seem so shaky around us, maybe a difficult family situation, a health concern, or things going on in the world and it seems like we can't do anything about them. Our mind and emotions can be thrown in such an upheaval as if we were in a storm and it being hit by every single wave. But what can keep you steady and your mind at peace in the midst of the storm? Is it your abilities and gifts and talents? No. Is it a supportive family or a healthy bank account? No, not really. It is the fact that what God has started in you he will finish it. Did you hear that? What God has started in you, He will finish it. There is a power in the Holy Spirit inside of you to help you remain confident and to hold you steady. It wasn't even you who started this journey of eternal salvation with Jesus. He started it and you are not the one that's going to finish. He will bring you to that finish line. Isn't that just completely amazing and peace giving? Am I saying that you can just sit down and do nothing as a Christian and sin all you want? No, I'm not saying that. Can you just remain a gossip and a hateful person and have bitterness in your life and be mean to people? and expect to live in victory and peace and love in your life? No, I'm not saying that. The Bible has much to say about instructing us on our daily living and choosing whom we will, receive, we will serve each day of our life. We can't just sit in bitterness and unforgiveness, hate, doubt, fear, unbelief, and expect to experience all the same kind of blessings and benefits as those who are choosing to walk in obedience to God's Word? The truth from Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 is this. Number one, there is a place of confidence we can walk and live in. Number two, you did not start your walk with Jesus. You did not choose him. He chose you. John chapter 15 verse 16 clearly says, You did not he choose him. He chose you. Number three, there is a finishing power in you, in your born again spirit that can bring you all the way to the finish line victoriously. And number four, the greater one, as it says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, 
who lives inside of you can not only bring you to your finish line, but he is also the invisible presence within us who is the completer. You can't finish your race by yourself, but the truth is you're not by yourself. The Holy Spirit is with you and in you and he will complete that good work he began in you when you were born again. So I encourage you to get your eyes off of how you feel about your good works or how you're doing or how you're not doing in performing in your life, but get your eyes on him and what he is doing on the inside of you. Can you see why I began this letter about embracing new confidence for the new year? You see, it's not only about what you have done, but what he has done in you. The Psalmist David summed it up in Psalm chapter 18, verses one and two. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation and my strong hold. Oh, friend, put your hope and your confidence in him and trust his commitment to you and his covenant with you. His promise is to bring you to the finish line if you will walk with him. And he always keeps his promises. He will never move or change. We can look to him and he will hold us steady, secure, and confident in this new year. I believe it's more important than ever that we reach out to one another and ask for prayer. If you need prayer, please call us or write us. Our phone number is 1-800-742-5593. And we can be reached Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time or you may send us your prayer request at prayer at renner.org. A faith-filled prayer warrior will be waiting on the other end of that phone to join their faith with yours for the victory in your situation. Oh, thank you so much for spending this time with me and starting Monday, January 3rd, you can view my brand new weekly TV program, Time with Denise Renner. It will air on YouTube, Facebook, and renner.org. I'm looking so forward to this beautiful time in the Word with you. Well, this is Denise Renner, Rick Renner, and our family, and we're saying to you, you be confident in him.